so we're going to enter the course here. This this is our EVOC course, which represents the city streets of San Antonio. EVOC. Uh, yes, Emergency Vehicle Operations Course. At the SAPD Training Academy on the south side, this is my before picture or dash cam video while I was driving safely on their road course. I'm so did I pass you the passed. initial course? Okay. You stayed in you stayed in the uh, lines and you, you did good. So if you want to stop here, sure. we'll go ahead and, and put these goggles on. Yes, beer goggles, a special kind of goggles engineered to show you what it's like to be drunk and behind the wheel. What it does is it creates your vision or tries to recreate the best you can Whoa. the uh, sensation of being intoxicated. Mm -hmm. Goggles like this are used more and more now for training law enforcement officers and to demonstrate to young people especially how dangerous it is to even think about driving drunk. It's an extremely large problem that we by no means have solved, but uh, education seems to be the key on this. The goggles are even made in different grades to simulate the different specific blood alcohol levels. I start with a 0.07 to 0.10 glasses. Legally drunk begins right about here at 0.08. Yeah. And so this yes. would simulate, say, if I was drunk but dumb enough to get in a car and drive. Correct. Right. And, and I, I can, can tell, tell it already it affects you like that. And you're going over the line on the right here. Oh, sorry. Well, it's the glasses. How does your peripheral vision look? Could you see somebody coming at you from left or right? Um, probably not. And then he decides to bump up my blood alcohol content to simulate a few more drinks with different goggles. So next we're going to go up to 0.17 to 0.20. This is really, really stupid and dangerous. This, oh my goodness. This is not, not smart. Wow, don't try this at home. I'm having trouble, I'm having trouble speaking just because it affects your uh, Okay, we're gonna everything. take it real easy now. Let's... Okay. And at this point, unlike real drunk drivers, I am very conscious and aware that I'm impaired, so I'm trying to drive cautiously and slowly to compensate for it. We're averaging about eight miles an hour on this course here and you're, you're having some difficulty. Oh yeah. Oh. So, well, there's one cone. My bad! <laughs> And, I get pulled over. and then we simulate what is all too real for Whoa. thousands of drunk drivers every day. It's a little tougher than usual walking. Face this direction. Okay. Getting pulled over Come stand right in a over field here. sobriety test. Okay. I want you to imagine a straight line there. Okay. Place your left foot on that line. Place your right foot in front, heel touching your toe. Now remember, I'm trying my best to compensate for what I know is the drunk effects of those goggles. Heel touching toe right there. Don't, don't start. Oh, hold on. So, how did I do? Terrible. Whoa. Oh, you, are you talking about with the goggles or well, without? Well, <laughs> either way. No, before you did did well, um, you stayed in, in the line of travel. Uh, with the goggles on, we went out, out off the roadway several times. And then, of course, in the apex course here, uh, we hit cones on the way out, which, uh, in, in on all seriousness, could be a pedestrian. It could be someone that's that's getting out of a car. It could be another vehicle uh, in a lane of travel. So it would have been, been a pretty bad situation on a highway. 